EIA controls will require similar data in the PART program. ARC programming is called circular interpolation because the control must interpolate a circular tool path. The two modal address words that program ARCs are G02 and G03. The G02 code programs a clockwise toolpath. The G03 code programs a counterclockwise toolpath. Before we look at the specifics of how arcs are programmed, let's go over the basic geometry of circles and arcs. To define any circle or arc, three locations or coordinates must be known. These three locations are the start point, the end point, and the center point. The location of the arc on the workpiece is determined by both the start point and the end point. Changing both of these locations by the same amount will move the arc. The length of the arc is determined by the distance between the start point and the end point. Changing either of these coordinates will shorten or lengthen the arc, thereby altering its shape. The shape or roundness of the arc is determined by the center point. Moving the center point will alter the curve of the arc. The center point can be programmed in one of two ways, as a location or as a radius value. When programmed as a location, the center point is located using coordinates which are measured relative to the start point. When programmed as a radius, the actual radius of the arc is used. As an example of arc programming, this is a counterclockwise G03 toolpath. The start point of an arc is created by the position of the tool just before the circular interpolation code is executed. Therefore, the tool must be positioned to the correct location before the arc begins. The start point coordinates are found in the blocks just before the circular interpolation block. 